how are you? Great. Today Good. we're going to make an ancient uh, Ayurvedic East Indian dish called Kitri. Okay, so mm -hmm. what is Kitri? Yummy. yummy. Super yummy. Okay, I'm good with yummy. Kitri is a watery dish that was traditionally made with rice and mung beans. And mung mm -hmm. beans are these little green beans that are very digestible. Okay. Well, I don't eat a lot of rice and I don't care for mung beans, so I switched it up with quinoa and lentils. Oh, I love quinoa and lentils. So you have okay. a complete protein, so it's very okay. filling. It's going to have lots of digestible herbs, so it heats your body up during the winter, so we feel good and warm and oh, secure. Yes, that's good. Yay. Love it. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this crock pot and just throw a bunch of stuff in it. All right. What we're going to do is we have some lentils. Yay. I got these uh, organic green lentils. You can use orange or reds. Okay. Um, a lot of them actually change color when you cook them. These are going to stay green. Okay. Um, and we're going to do, that's all the big crock pot, but we're going to do, like, let's say, what's that say, half cup? Okay. Half cup of lentils. All right. Okay. Half that a cup of lentils. Good. Put them in our crock pot. Okay. Maybe I'll just put a little no, more. That sounds good. <laughs> all Maybe right. just a little more lentils. Quinoa. Yay! A lot of people have a misconception of quinoa. Quinoa is a seed, not necessarily a grain. And so it also has a high protein. Okay. So we're going to do a mm -hmm. heaping half a cup. Okay. Spread that in our crock pot too. Sounds good. Yay! Yay. Okay. Now, this, this is, is vegetarian, so okay. we're going to add water at the end, but I want to add the spices first. All right. Real technical on the spices, okay? Don't panic. I'll have them listed at the end of the okay. movie. Okay. So we're going to do um, fennel seeds, a heaping tablespoon. So it's like a heaping tablespoon. Okay. Yummy. <laughs> Laura's measurements. <laughs> Here's a oh. herb called fenugreek. Yes. I got all my herbs from an Indian store. Most oh. Indian restaurants have an Indian store next to them, oh, nice. or you can get them online. Okay. So we have a heaping tablespoon of fenugreek, which adds a lot of flavor. Oh, wow. Fenugreek is actually another herb that a lot of women use to help lactate. So if they have nursing and having difficulty creating the milk. Okay, interesting. Don't we panic. Don't, yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, okay. I like to put just a little celery seed, maybe half a teaspoon of celery seed. Nice. You know what? We could have put some of this in our soup. Oh, too. we could? Okay. Yeah. Should I stir that a little? That would be yeah. all right. That would be good. Yeah. Okay. Cardamom. Mm. Have you had cardamom yes, before? I have. So we're going to do yes. a couple pods of cardamom. Oh, wonderful. You don't want to eat those. Yes. You want to swoop them out when you're okay. done. This here is ground coriander. Coriander. You ever eat a... Um, not parsley. It's it? um, cilantro. Cilantro. Yes. Say that right. I know Korean. Cilantro. Okay. So and I know coriander very well. This is the seed of the yes. of the what plant? Cilantro. Yeah, that's good. Good yeah. thing I'm hanging out with a homegirl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Comes in handy sometimes. Yep. And here's another homegirl spice. What is this? Oh, cumin. Cumin. Yeah, you get this out of Mexican. Cumin. Yes. Heaping tablespoon. Wow, that's a good, yeah. Good heap. Oh, I bet you don't know this one. Star anise. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, you shocked me every day. I, I do know that. Aren't these pretty? Oh, very pretty. A star anise. Mm, so it's like licorice. Nice. They come in a star shape. I've actually made my own chai one time with all there these ingredients. Some of these. Yep. Yeah. And you know very what's good. yummy? You can make homemade applesauce oh, using this, too. Oh, nice. Okay. Mm, we should do that. Oh, we should. Let's see what else we got. We've got no this. Oh, we need that one. No, no. No, oh, no. Okay. Okay, what is that one? Turmeric. Oh, yes. Turmeric is a healing herb. It's uh, anti-inflammatory, uh, anti-cancer, cleans out the liver and the blood. If you get it on you, it will be on you. It stays. Oh, yes. So I, I leave mean, the yeah. shaker on and, and I go shake, shake, oh, shake, good. shake, shake. <laughs> How many shakes was that? Did you catch that? <laughs> a heaping teaspoon. A heaping teaspoon, okay. It was like four shakes, I think. Anyway, okay. Here's a trick. In order for the turmeric to kick in and start working, you add black pepper. Really? Yeah, they work together like a You're brother kidding. and sister. So maybe wow. a teaspoon of black pepper. And good to go then, right? Yeah. And a little salt. Again, okay. a little salt and we salt at the end. I like that concept. The That's thing about good. 
The thing about crock pots is when you add foods, the flavors become more intense. Oh, if you were nice. to actually salt this now, you could possibly oversalt your oh, food. So we're just going to add a little, maybe a teaspoon. Throw Very that in. Nice. We can more salt it more as I we like go. It. No. We have added the quinoa, okay. we've added the mung, uh, lentil, excuse me, and we've added all our herbs and spices. Yes. So please. now what we want to do is we want to add some water. Okay. To make it more digestible, we're going to add about six cups of water, okay. and you're going to turn this, I find if you turn it on high, it cooks better than if you turn it on low. Really? I don't know. Just That's, at least this dish. Okay. So um, we're going to turn it on high, and we're going to check it in a couple of hours. And you might have to add another cup of water. Okay. So okay. right now we start with six cups, six of, cups water. of water. And I could do that. Okay. While you're getting the six cups of water, I'm going to add a chunk of garlic. Okay. So maybe a heaping teaspoon of garlic or probably two cloves of garlic. There's two. Pour that sucker in. I'm also going to add fresh ginger, maybe two small slices. Fresh ginger, huh? Fresh ginger. Excuse me. Yummy. Okay, there we go. We're also going to add half an onion. Okay. Just half. We don't need a lot of onion on that. So again, we want to be real careful cutting our onion. I think I'll just cut it this way today. Mmm. Okay. Makes it easy to peel. Yeah, true, true. There we go. Thank you, yeah, you're so good. Oh, thank See? you. That's why I hang out with you. <laughs> Whatever I can do to help. I can eat the food, so that's oh, good. Yeah. Woo, do you see that onion yeah, flying? I saw that. Okay. Them up in little chunks here, nothing fancy because it's all going to cook down. Okay, I'm going to throw that onion in there. Yummy! Yay! All right, one more magical ingredient. What is it? Oh, ghee! ghee. You do toss you, ghee in there, huh? I do. Do you know what ghee is? Yes, what is ghee? It's a, a type of form of butter, yes, but it's the way it's processed, it's a lot healthier, and this is used in Indian food all the time, right? That's right. They, what they've done is, it is. You can make this at home. It's very simple. You go oh, on YouTube. Yeah. There's lots of videos on it. But it's a way of slowly bringing it to a heat and skimming it off, skimming the proteins off so it's more digestible. And oh. smell it. It smells different than, a, let's say, mm. a, a butter that we just used for mm -hmm. the squash the other day. Yeah. So let's um, get very another good. spoon that's yes, clean. Yes, I do. Right here. So again, my measurements. One big heaping... Heap that's the only thing, it's a little hard, but it's good. Yeah. Okay, very One good. One big heaping teaspoon of the ghee. Ghee. Okay, very good. So. And is that it? That is it. Wow. Now you can plug it in. 